Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Sports Plus Life Podcast, episode number 36. Episode number 36, full up and running. Let me get closer here without... God, it's a carpet, and I can't, like... Fuck, doesn't matter. Um, welcome. Episode number 36, the Jerome Bettis, the bus episode of the Sports Plus Life Podcast. Um, and this is quarantine day number, like, seven, eight. I don't even know what day it is. It's Monday, I know that much. Um... It's been, um, yeah, it was, this weekend was a little weird. It wasn't that weird. I was kind of locked up for the most part. Um, I, um, what did I do? Friday, just chilled. Friend came over, me and my brother, we all chilled, kicked it, drank a little drink, played a little bit of Xbox. Um, and then Saturday did a little bit of the same thing. I woke up, made sure I went to get my breakfast burrito. Um, and then I, uh... I kicked it, man. I didn't do a whole lot. I'm trying to think of what I did. I remember kind of just doing much. On Sunday, which was yesterday, went to um, hang out with my niece. And she um, she made me watch Frozen 2 with her. I haven't watched it with her yet. And um, she jacked my phone. She took my phone. She's like, you ain't watching this. You're paying, you're paying attention to the movie. Not my phone. Not the phone. And she took it away from me. And not that it matter. My phone's dry AF. It doesn't matter. I'd like to get the news, the updates. Maybe something popped up. Maybe Cam Newton got traded somewhere. But no. For at least two hours, I didn't have my phone on me. I watched a Frozen. So I was forced to watch it. And uh, that's a sad-ass movie. Have you guys ever watched it? I, um, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was just, like, sitting there trying to hold back tears, like, seven times. I was like, Oh, no, not Olaf. I can't believe they took Olaf. Um, but, yeah, that was uh, my weekend. A little bit of relaxing. I mean, that's what's going to be coming up here pretty soon is that a lot of, <clears throat> I think, a lot right now, I think just right now, it's like 2.30 in the afternoon, Monday, the time of me recording this, um, Denver is um, going to have be a stay out. What does it say? Hold on. Um, stay at home policy or whatever it's called. Um, I think that's what it is. What does it say here? Shoot. What is this? Um, stay at home, safe policy, stay at home, just stay at home order. Um, which means I don't think you, you could only be, if you are in about, it's only to like grocery stores, grocery stores. Gas stations, like doctor's visits, liquor store is one of them. There's a couple other ones that I saw a big list on, but I can't remember what it was. That's what I saw, but (coughs) (coughs) I don't have it, I promise. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I think it's it's just for Denver, so I'm not 100% sure how this all works. I live in Greeley, um, which is an hour north, so I don't. I don't know how that affects me yet. Um, I stay indoors anyways. It doesn't even matter. never realized how much I stay indoors until this actually all happened. I'm like, oh, I'm just used to this. <laughs> I don't really leave. The only time I ever did leave was to work. Now I'm at work right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to affect everything. I don't know how long. This is until at least April 10th is what it says. Uh, let me pop that. Uh, April 10th, I believe. This is all kind of new, so I'm just like... I don't know what's going on. Um, starting Tuesday at 5. There'll be more news. April 10th, yeah. April 10th. Um, oh, crap. Uh, Denver authorities will take necessary enforcement, Hancock said. Jesus, what does that mean? Um, critical disorder, non-critical person. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's going to be more info. Just keep your eye out if you live in Colorado, anywhere in general, because this is going to be happening a whole lot more, um, I think, throughout this month. And we'll see. April 10th, not that far. I mean, it's just like three weeks away, two weeks away. So we could do it for a couple of weeks. So, yes. God, God in su pedo. Calm down. Get on TikTok, like I said. You know what I'm saying? Get on TikTok. Make some TikTok videos with your family. Have some fun, all right? Learn. This, like I said, learn. Get better. Come out of this, oh, sh- come out of this way strong. Um, 
Sorry, something came up on the T. I'm going to turn that shit off because I don't. it's going to distract me. It's ridiculousness. With Rob Dyrdek, you guys remember? Um, <laughs> that was definitely distracting. Um, <clears throat> yeah, get better. Do something you've never wanted to do as far as like something you could do within your house. Um, read that book. Listen to that podcast. Listen to my podcast, Sports Plus Life on YouTube. Sports Plus Life everywhere you go. Um, on on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, all of them except for SoundCloud, which we still have not fixed, and that's my fault because I haven't even thought about it. <coughs> but um, I hope you guys are staying safe. Just stay safe. If you stay indoors, do not leave. Just chill. Um, I know the, I know that the um, the um, shopping centers, everything is just crazy right now. Trying to find anything is nuts. Um, we have enough food for a week here in my house. Anyways, I don't know how long it'll take it, longer than that. I can, I can, I can survive on little, um, definitely got a workout plan going. I got, I bought, I bought some, some, I got, we got a treadmill, then I have, uh, some bands, some workout bands and, uh, yeah, figure it out. Her Peloton is actually doing 90 day free trial. So a 90 day free trial for, uh, for on the Peloton app. So you get the Peloton app, it'd be 90 days free trial, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, my friend Kendall sent it to me. Didn't even realize that was something you could do. I thought Peloton, you just needed the bike, but I think it's more than that. So got that popping off. Um, over the weekend though, on last five days, um, one thing to keep distracted. One thing that was really cool, really heartfelt, very, um, Got a lot of people together virtually and very fun to be around. It was um, DJ D Nice went live with DJ, hip hop DJ. Um, I think a rapper as well. Um, DJ D Nice went live on Instagram. And at one point, I like think Friday night, Thursday night, had like 100,000 people watching. Some of them included Michelle Obama, Oprah, I don't know, Oprah. Um, who else? I think Ellen, everyone was kind of just tuning in. It was pretty cool uh, tune in and watch and just vibe. It reminded me back in the day, I um, had a lot of DJ friends and my friend Thomas Franchise used to rap. Thomas Franchise was the most underrated podcast. Um, used to rap and we hang out with him. We hung out with a bunch of DJs, DJs and they would just spin and it was just cool. You just hung out and listen to music, drink, and that was it. And it was, it was pretty very well needed, especially for a lot of people because they're stuck at home and you can't go to clubs. I mean, people like going to clubs for the music or uh, whatever, and you could just chill. We can't now because you can't be around more than 10 people. So, but that was a pretty cool thing to watch. It's something that everybody needed. Other thing I did Friday night is that um, a friend of mine, G, put on a um, an online concert. I use, like he's local around here. G-I-E, G-I-I, almost messed up his name, Guillermo. Uh, G-I-I and... Um, Put on a good show, like, like listen to him play, um, just to go chill. Usually, usually I had to go to a little bar, wherever he's playing at, go watch for a little bit. Um, obviously, can't do that right now. Also, um, Ben Puholski, he's another guy um, from this area, did another show too. So those things are needed, man. Those things are cool. And then you could also still support him by, they put up their Venmo or whatever, their cash app, and just send them a little change, man, just like you would if they were right there and put it in the bucket, except it's virtual. Mm, pretty cool. Cash App, Venmo, all those people are way ahead of their time. That's what you do around this stuff, around this type of type of you know, around this time. These type of things happen. Everything's virtual now, so technology is really coming in clutch um, in a uh, time like this. And it's pretty cool because a lot of companies. I have Comcast, comp, um, and um, I was really worried because I have um, this is an allotment. I think it's like a thousand gigs or something you can use worth of internet. <coughs> to um to like every month you have to use and um I, i've gone over it like twice pretty came close pretty came pretty close i think i had like a reserve amount that i didn't go over but um because of the podcast sometimes the podcasts are an hour long and for me to do any work here it takes like a lot of gigs to do that type of stuff and then now i'm working from home um it'll like I was afraid I was going to go over and I was going to pay a shit because like a lot of money. I think it's like 15 bucks a gig. You go over 10 gigs or something like that. You go over. Um, yeah, it didn't happen. Thank God it didn't happen. 
um, because they actually pause those data plans. So they pause the data plans for the time being. I don't know how long that's going to be. Um, but Comcast has came in clutch there uh, for people like me who are going to be working from home and need all the bandwidth possible. So shout out to Comcast. Shout out to Verizon too. They know it doesn't sound like they're turning off people's lights or uh, turning off people's phone. I don't know. Some people use their phones as lights. Who knows? Turning off their phones and um, you know, kind of working with us as well. So it's pretty cool. Um, some a lot of good companies are going out there. I'll, I mean, hopefully the lights don't turn off. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> just randomly, just shut off. You didn't pay, but no. Um, yeah, some some companies are coming in clutch. Um, it's been yeah, it's still it's a crazy time still, and who knows what the future holds? I don't know how long this is going to happen. If we do get up and running again, it probably won't be till end of may june or something like that so um yeah and then today with that order coming through as far as here goes i don't know what other jobs are going to be affected so um yeah i think i think friday or thursday they issued um the not friday or thursday but they um what am i trying to say they uh had the most unemployment filings ever at one time or something like that. So everything's being affected right now. But I mean, like I said, this is just a, uh, we're just putting pause on this and um, we're just putting pause on life. And um, I think we're going to be okay. Um, we just got to stay indoors. It's got to stay away from each other as much as possible and um, see what happens. Um, yeah. But, if you are able to, and also tonight, like I mentioned, um, the Garth Brooks will have a, like a half hour concert on Facebook Live, and then on his website or something like that. It's pretty cool, with Garth Brooks. He's gonna have like maybe like a little acoustic set. His wife will be a part of it for a half hour. A half hour probably needs to be a little bit longer, but I'll take it. A lot of other DJs were kind of coming out too. Um, so DJ, I don't know, Kid Capri, I don't know if Kid Capri was live, I know Quest Love was live, um, it'd be cool if a lot of artists do that, oh, Sway Lee did a live concert as well, um, so a lot of cool things like that, hopefully a lot of more artists kind of, um, you know, grab the, what is it called, the brass ring and kind of run with it, so we'll see, um, yeah, just trying to do anything really to pass the time and yeah, I don't know. It's kind of diff- <laughs> it's kind of difficult, man. It's just like you kind of do so much, so much things, so much, you know, you know, a day. You get bored with stuff. Um, although I'm getting better at my video games, definitely got a hold of FIFA again. Uh, my GoPro. You never know. You never know what's gonna happen. I might go pro, and then you'll see Sports Plus Live up there in EA. Sports Plus Live up there in esports. Um, you'll see Edgar, Mister AK, Rodriguez up there in the leaderboards. Doubt it, but you'll never know. You never know how good I can get. I'm sick of that game. You guys want smoke? M-R-A-K-A-2-7 on FIFA. Xbox. Um, I think it's M-R-A-K-A-C-O on Activision. So if you want to you know, squad up, Call of Duty, some Battle Royale. It's free for anyone. So if you're on PlayStation, um, PC, Xbox, it's free for everyone. So... Go ahead and download it. It's called... Blah, what is it called? Call of Duty Warzone. The squad up, players. All right? The squad up. You can find me on the eSports stage one day. Although everything is eSports now because no one's having contacts. That's one thing. There's um, there's one That's one thing they're doing too is that looks like Mexico... So every team has a specific player representing them in eSports. MLS has this, but everyone, uh, everyone in Manchester United, Liverpool, English Premier. So a lot of teams have their own eSport uh, MLS or eSport um, player representing that team. And then Mexico had raised some money doing an eSport tournament over the weekend, which is pretty cool. And um, <coughs> I don't know how – I didn't know about that. Or else I would enter and torch it up. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I think every team had their individual person representing them and kind of went through. I don't know who won. I just saw some kind of click by, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I am uh, I'm looking to go pro, so holler at me, FIFA. 
M-R-A-K-A-2-7 on Xbox. M-R-A-K-A-C-O, I think, on Activision. So, yeah, just holler at me. M-R-A-K-A-C-O on Instagram and Twitter. Sports Plus Life on Instagram and Twitter. And then uh, YouTube.com slash Sports Plus Life um, as well. So, holler at your boy. Share, like, subscribe, hit all the bells. That way you're getting notified when I'm uploading stuff. Sometimes it can be random, but I'm going to try to be keeping a schedule as much as possible. So, like, for example, today's Monday. You'll definitely get the audio um, version on, um, you know, like Spotify, Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. You'll get all that um, today, tonight, and then tomorrow morning you'll get the YouTube posted. So you can see my pretty beautiful face, Wu-Tang shirt, all that. My baggy eyes, it don't even matter. You can see all that. Um, so keep in, and then also I'll be doing some more, since we have a little bit more time, I'll do other videos as well. Um, I'll talk about anything, man. Let me know. Give me the topic. I will talk about everything except for politics. I ain't going to bring that up. I don't care about it. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so holler at me. Let me know on all those other social media aspects. Um, but yeah, life's crazy right now, but pretty cool. A lot of cool news coming out of the XFL. And now, like, XFL's season got cut short because of coronavirus. But for one person, it actually, and I said this on, God, one, like, a few weeks ago when XFL was coming up, that this could be one of those second chance organizations for a lot of people. And it was for pretty much everyone involved because it was gaining a lot of attention, still getting a lot of followers. A lot of people were watching. Up until this whole coronavirus pandemic shut it down, um, PJ Walker from the Houston Roughnecks, I believe, is what it is, um, signed to the Carolina Panthers today, um, which is pretty cool. Um, come out of Temple, I think he was with the Eagles for a little bit. I can't remember who he was with before, but that's really cool. Um, got signed by the Panthers. Don't know what the future holds because now what happens, and I'm, I'm assuming Cam Newton's going to be a part of it, but the other um, kind of variable that just happened, and then, which gives me hope that he's going to be actually be a starter, or not a starter, but be on the on the uh, on the team come the season, is that they actually just traded Kyle Anderson, is that his name, to the Redskins. Uh, Ron Rivera picked him up, and um, surprising that they didn't even go for Cam Newton. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know if you know Rivera was like, nah, no thanks, or something happened. Um, cause you're talking about Cam Newton who, um, took this team to the Super Bowl, MVP, um, pro bowler. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the thought process was, but it kind of, you kind of feel bad for Cam Newton, Cam Newton. Like, I think I said it in the last podcast, but it's getting me worse now because Brian Horner, Brian Hoyer, Brian Hoyer just got signed to the Pats again. I think he was on there before. Um, they already have three QBs signed. It's Cody Kessler and then Steg- I can't even say the other guy's name. Um, three QBs already, and it looks I don't know if this is like if this is like what Belichick wants. Probably got him on a bargain. Maybe going to spend money elsewhere. Have somebody who understands the system already. It's so weird. Like, I don't get it, but who knows? Like, I don't know what's going to happen there. I don't know if they're going to draft the quarterback. Um, but Brian Horry got signed before Jamie's Winston, before Cam Newton. Joe Flacco is still out there as well. He's a former Super Bowl, former MVP. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's so weird. That is so weird. This free agency has just been weird where everyone's been priced at, everyone's been going. A lot of, like, head scratchers, question marks. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just... I don't get it. Um, yeah, I don't get it. I have no idea. But, um, yeah, I would definitely would take Cam Newton or Brian Hoyer. That, Hoyer, that's just me. I mean, the guy's big, 6'5", 240. He's, like, he's a big dude, big quarterback, mobile. Um, maybe there's something they know that we don't involving Cam Newton. Because you know that um, Bill Belichick does his due diligence. Um, as far as finding out about quarterbacks, why isn't he signed? What's going on with this guy? Probably made a call to Ron Rivero, say what's going on. Who knows? The guy's 
guys up here. Um, yeah, it's, it's just weird stuff going on right now. Everything's just weird. Everything's just a little off. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. I don't get anything. Um, but yeah, that's how it is right now. That's life right now. Everything's weird. This is like the norm now. Everything's just weird. People are going crazy at grocery stores. People are going crazy in general, which is nothing new. Um, yeah. But yeah, I would have, yeah, I don't know. I would have signed one of those two guys before. I would have signed Brian Hoyer, but who knows? I don't even know how, what Jamie Winston throws now. He has got his vision corrected. Um, you, cause you saw those memes. He's like this. eyes squinted like that a lot. Um, so probably couldn't see this. So probably, that's probably had what through 30 touchdowns and 30 interceptions. The first guy to ever do that in one year. <coughs> that is redunk. I'm going to bring that word back. Redunculous. Mind your business, right? Look at, and still looking busted. Um, so just mind your business. Everyone's out of work right now. Bartender, uh, bartenders um, are out of work, so I can't look pretty out in public. Um, can't look pretty out in public anyways because my barber's out of work. So We'll see. He just text me. I'm going to see what he says after this. That's why I was checking my watch. You guys see it? Technology's crazy. I just saw that right now. Um, but, yeah. Other than that, there's been a little bit quiet on the NFL front, I believe. Um the little bit of a college news. So Trey Sermon, formerly of Oklahoma, University of Oklahoma, um, entered the transfer portal and is officially going to Ohio State. Not a bad move. Good school. Great offensive line. Um, now you had you had a he had, he had a great offensive line in Oklahoma. The issue was he was injured. He became injured early and didn't get the playing time. And now probably would. Would have been a whole lot harder getting playing time. With Kennedy the way Kennedy Brooks is playing. Um, what's his name here? Kennedy Brooks. Uh, um, God, I should know my own team's name. It's just death. Uh, yep, Kennedy Brooks and Jaden Knowles. Um, and then Trey Sermon was in the mix, but obviously got hurt. So he'll be transferring to Ohio State, which is good for him, man. You got to get that time in. He knew it. Um kind of fortunate it's very fortunate he could do something like that and still could be able to get that playing time especially at a school like ohio state which was which i believe got screwed out of the finals but that's just me but um they definitely need that help especially with um you know um god i can't think of his name how come i can't all the running backs all the quarterbacks everyone leaving because of the uh the draft well fields i think is still coming back i believe so um we'll see the um, I kind of I'm like yeah, let me see what's up. What's he doing? Jamie's Winston's pushes SUV uphill and free agency. Is it like, is he training? Is it like Rocky style? Like, I don't get it. Uh, let me take a look here. Let's see here. I'm trying to think of anyone like anything's happened crazy. And like, no. Nah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But um, NFL, yeah, that it'll come and go. That's the only sports that's keeping alive. Um, this weekend, man, all I saw was Tom Brady. Tom Brady, this. Tom Brady, that. Which, by the way, I think today is um, Peyton Manning's birthday. I think today it is tomorrow. Tomorrow, so you're seeing us on YouTube. Happy birthday, to, happy birthday to Peyton Manning, March twenty fourth. Forty three years old. Tom Brady is going to be forty three years old when the season starts. This uh, this fall, summer this fall, and um, it's all I saw this weekend. I saw you're starting to see ESPN's true colors. You're trying to, you're starting to see, not that it's nothing new, but you're starting to see what, who they like, who they favor the most. All I saw this weekend was Tom Brady. I saw a lot of LeBron James and a lot of Conor McGregor. They're, 
it was like such fanboy fanboy type stuff it was ridiculous like <clears throat> so you guys know me big UFC fan big mixed martial arts fan um over the weekend and I kind of remember I remember this they already put this out a long time ago I didn't remember if it was I'm trying to think if it was an ESPN list but they put out the top 25 fights ever number one top 25 fight was the Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz fight second fight which he won which is very questionable if he won or not. Um, very close fight, split decision. Didn't think he won. But it, I didn't think it was that great of a f- fight to be put in the top five. Number two was Shogun Henderson. Probably the best fight ever. Um, but the, really, seriously, probably, seriously, the best fight ever. Um, even with all these new fights coming out, like you saw Yair Rodriguez versus Korean Zombie. Um, the one with Yana Jinjoychik and uh, Wei Li Zhang. Um, the number three fight was Conor McGregor and Diaz won. Uh, yeah, the first fight. And that was number three. And I was just like, <sighs> number four was Robbie Lawler and Rory McDonald. Definitely deserves to be top five, probably number three or two. But it just bothers me. You strip away the hype. You strip away the pre-fight, you know, pre-fight jargon, the pre-fight all this hype. You look at those fights and they're not, you, they're not as, they, they, they shouldn't be in that top five, top 10 even. Top 20, maybe even not even top 20 to be honest with you. Um, it just bothers me. Like I want people... I want fans to vote on these type of real fans. The MMA community isn't stupid. We know fights. We've seen t- the fights. Um, that's definitely not top five. I just didn't. I, I, I don't like it. I think hey, why Conor McGregor has to be part of that? I don't know. He's, he's been. Has he been? Are they good fights? Of course they have been. Um, but they're not top ten worthy. Not even definitely not number one worthy. Um. A lot of those fights are the ones that keep you on your toes the whole time. Dan Henderson and Shogun, both of them, two of them were those ones. Gustafson versus John Jones. Um, shit, you even watch, if you wanted to go one or two rounds, you can even look at Brian Stan versus Vanderlei Silva. Um, you could, I mean, just if you're looking at just high five fights, I mean, you could even look Paul Daly versus Nick Diaz, one of the best one round fights ever. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can't remember if this fight came out last year or this list came out last year, so it definitely has to be updated. But if they update it and that fight's on there again in the top five, I'm just done watching ESPN. I can't watch ESPN, I can only watch fights. I don't want any watch any specials, I can't watch any of that. So, so yeah, I don't, it's very it's just underwhelming. It's just like, oh, okay, and I stopped watching, I was like, I was so excited. Then they showed the damn fight like three or four more times throughout the day. There's nothing special about it. ESPN drops the ball. Drop the ball hard. Um, so just stick to like UFC fight pass and watch real fights. That's what I would do. It's just, yeah, they definitely love LeBron James. They definitely love Tom Brady. Plus, I think it benefit of the doubt, giving them benefit of the doubt, there's not much else to talk about um, up and coming. But if you're going to show stuff, I mean... Show quality stuff. Let's be real with each other. Um, yeah, whatever. Whatever, mother, motherfuckers. Whatever. Was that the lady from next Friday? Friday after next, whatever. Um, yeah, Olympics are... So up until the, today, actually, um, the Olympics are still trying to go on in Japan. Um with the, uh, with the, is it Beijing? I think Tokyo, Japan, Tokyo Olympics, summer Olympics are still going to go through. Um, but it sounds like they're pushing more towards pushing it back to next year, which, um, yeah, it's a little way. I don't, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know if they're going to push it back one year and then three years. So I don't know how it all works out moving forward, but, um, I think it's the right move to do. A lot of people can't train. Swimming people can't train track and field. People can't train. Um, 
you just can't train in general. And these people need those hours. Um, need those hours, need to just to be able to train it. They can't train right now. Everything's being on lockdown. Everyone's shutting down. So it just makes sense. Um, pretty unfortunate because a lot of, I don't know if qualifying was done. I'm not 100% sure. I got to look into it. Maybe some people still need to qualify. I'm not 100%. I think qualifying may have been done in winter time. So, but yeah, you still need time to train. These guys are supreme athletes. Except for Russia. They just need, they need the drugs. They need more time to put drugs in them. They were the only team <coughs> or um, Putin. Was it Putin? Was the only guy to back the IOC, which is the International Olympic Committee or whatever, to keep the fight, the, the, the fights, to keep the, um, the games going um, for the summer. Uh, makes sense. I thought they were suspended anyways. I thought they couldn't. I thought there was a lot of athletes. Russia was suspended from the uh, Olympics. All that dopey neck, all that dope, 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 all that dope shit they put in their veins. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but Canada was like, I ain't sending people. Someone else was, I think it was Australia. They were going, yeah, we ain't going. You could kiss our arse. Um, so yeah, they didn't. Yeah, I think they're shutting it down. I think they're delaying it till next year. Um, Champions League finals being delayed. La Liga is being delayed. So everything's still being delayed. Everything was supposed to be delayed. Or, like, be up and, like, have talks to be up and running beginning of April, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Um, yeah, I think everyone's just going to be stuck at home doing the uh, stay-at-home challenge. Where you, have you guys seen that where all the soccer players are kicking the toilet roll, toilet paper roll up and down, doing kicky-uppies, uppies, or kicky-uppies, or kick-ups, or juggling, depending on what part of the world you're at. That's what they call it. Um... Yeah, that's what they've been doing. Messi did it, so everyone's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, the king says stay home, we're staying home. So you better listen to him. Um, we do live in crazy times because now, this weekend, this weekend, the Gronk, Robert Gronkowski signed with the WWE. And he signed on to, I don't know if he signed a contract, a la like Cain Velasquez or I haven't seen Kay Velasquez in a couple months, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I don't know if the Gronk signed like like a long-term deal or if it's just to host the WWE WrestleMania, which WWE WrestleMania um, is split up into two nights. So Saturday night, April 4th, and then Sunday night, April 5th. I don't know if it's going to be two hours or two and a half hours each or three hours each. Because you know, usually WrestleMania is five hours long. The main event itself, the main card and everything. And then they have like three or four hours before that of like pre-show stuff. Um, let me take a look here. Because he just made his debut this last weekend. His friend uh, Mojo. Mojo Raleigh. I think you just call him Mojo now. Uh, Mojo played at Maryland, um, but played football nonetheless. Play, tried to play pro, but was friends with Gronkowski. Um, they party hard together, uh, and uh, so he introduced him this last Friday. So who knows, man? I don't know what's gonna. I don't know what's. Uh, let me see here. I'm trying to look it up because I, I really don't know. Um, what the contract is like. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say. Um, but yeah, he's there. Which fits him a lot. I mean, he's a crazy dude. He's he's made an appearance at WrestleMania before. Is WrestleMania was the one with 31? Uh, maybe. Uh, I'm a, I got to find this out, guys. 31 or 29? Yep, 31. WrestleMania 31. I think that was he, he was in that one. He helped uh, Mojo win the... Um, where's it at here? Win the... Um, is this one it? Yeah, it has to be that one. Win the uh, Andre the Giants Battle Royal, I believe is what it was. 
I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, that was a pretty good one. I remember that because that's the one where um, Randy Orton, where um, Seth Rollins goes and like tries to curb stomp him, and then he steps on Randy Orton's head, and Randy Orton kicks him up, and then does the RKO. If you guys haven't seen that, I'm gonna try to remember to put it in the description. The best RKOs ever. Out of nowhere. Check it out. But I think that was the one. I'm pretty sure that's the one. Um, so he's been in WrestleMania before. He likes wrestling. I mean, the character. Why not? The uh, love characters there. Tyson Fury was part of the WWE back in November, October. Uh, I believe is what it was. Why not? Anything to stay relevant. Anything to stay alive. Um, yeah. This is going on, man. It's slow times. Um, I'm not trying to bore you guys with a lot of things you guys already know because you guys are all at home too. I'm trying to be make this as you know distracting as possible. Um, I don't know, man. Like my funny genes are leaving me. I'm not funny anymore. I'm gonna start writing jokes. I'm gonna do comedy. Okay, I'm gonna start doing comedy sets on these things. I'm gonna come back with better material, better jokes. We're gonna improve. We're gonna be better out of this coronavirus situation. Like I said, we're just on pause. But it doesn't mean we have to stop growing, all right? Anyways. Oh, yeah. One thing I did want to talk about before I dip out on you. Um, Childish Gambino put out a put out his album this last weekend. It was teased last week. Then it got taken down. But then I got put out again. And I was like, I listened to it. And I was like, I have no idea what I'm listening to. Like, I recognize a couple songs he's had out before. But it was like the we- it was been the weirdest album I've heard in a while. And he's a talent. I mean, I I I get the fact that you want to be abstract, you want to stand out a little bit more. I don't get it. Like maybe it's too advanced for me. But if you guys haven't heard it, go check it out. Um, or don't. I'm telling you right now, it's a weird album. Just weird. A lot of like tribal African tribal. Remix beats. I guess I don't get it. Whatever, man. Whatever, bro. Whatever floats your boat, Parks and Rec. Um, the weekend came out the new album and listened to some of his stuff. It changed a whole lot, but I still like it. Uh, I gotta listen to that. Send me your music recommendations, good ones. I don't. I'll, I'm open to anything, all right. But just send me good ones. Don't be hollering me. All right, don't be hollering me with all that mess. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Um, short podcasts. We'll keep them too long. And, uh, cause I'll probably end up putting more videos out. I don't know. Wu Tang for, Wu Tang's for the kids. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, stay safe. Wash your hands. Wash your ass. Um, let's do better for our kids. Let's make an example. Let's be examples for our children. All right. Love you guys. You guys stay up. I will catch you guys. Episode of Sports Live Podcast, episode number 37. Late.